Hello and welcome back to Gourmet, the Roman kitchen. Today's recipe is Cato's recipe for porridge, or what the Romans called pulse. This recipe calls for buckwheat, about 50 grams, about 150 grams of cheese, 25 grams or about one tablespoon of honey, and one egg. And so we're going to start off today by soaking our buckwheat. Lots of recipes you could find for pulse porridge suggest using semolina instead, but semolina is quite fine compared to the groats that Cato's recipe actually calls for. So I thought it'd be interesting to get a more authentic look at this dish. So let the grains soak for about 10 minutes or until they're soft and then drain them out into a bowl. What's interesting about pulse porridge is that it was effectively Rome's staples food. It was served at birthdays and at religious rituals. And for a poet like Marshall, it was included in his idealized vision of a feast when served with a side of sausages. He admits that it's nothing fancy, but it shows the place porridge held in Roman hearts. So what I'm doing here is emptying the buckwheat into my pan, adding the cheese, the honey, and the egg. Put it on the hob on a low heat and stir constantly. When the cheese is melted, add some milk, depending on how wet you like your porridge to be. Now pour it out into a bowl and have a taste. Now, obviously English porridge tends to be sweet, whereas this Roman porridge is a decidedly savoury affair. This recipe was Cato's own from his De Agricultura. I've already written about Cato on my blog. And he specifies a three to one weight ratio of cheese to grain. And I think this is much too high for a modern palate. If you replicate this at home, maybe add half as much cheese as I did, or try balancing out with some more honey. Thanks for watching this episode. And if you enjoyed it, please go and check out my blog post today which is about rituals and food in Rome.